Hello, hello. Welcome back. So this is the weekly summary for this week. And today is Saturday the 31st of July. Well, it wasn't a bad week. There was 11 dividend payments that totaled 30 cents. And I got dividend payments on four days out of five, which isn't bad. So on Monday, there was two payments, and it was for nine cents. Tuesday, there was two payments, and it was for four cents. Wednesday, there was three payments, and it was for eight cents. And on Thursday, there was four payments, and it was for nine cents. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Eventually, it would be every day, but I've just added the last, like, I think it's 80 to 100 stocks. To get it up to 517, they were only added like within the last week or so, so none of those dividend payments will be gone past the uh, ex dividend date, probably, or I'm sorry, a payment date. I'll have to leave them for a while, let the next, uh, the next ex dividend date go by, and then I can really see how much all of them will pay. And then also, I had some change left over from a food shop. So I deposited four euro and then put that into the pie for the numbered stocks. I'll show you it now. Yeah, this one. So this had already had two euro in it. These were all one, but the minimum you can invest in this is four euro because there's four stocks. So they would each get a euro. And so I had to put four in and then I did self-balancing. I'll show you again. Cancel it. This is also another interesting thing if people are using trading 212. If you make it a, an order in a pie like that and then cancel it, it will store the cash in the pie. So I used to use it down the bottom as a, I would put like one euro into a, the SPY S&P global I think it was some very safe one anyway and then any money that I had to keep aside for tax I would invest it into this pie and then cancel the order and it would just sit here but it wouldn't be up here with my free funds so I wouldn't be looking at it and seeing like little dips and going oh yeah you just put a little euro in there you know it would end up slowly being chipped away you, know, you need to put the money aside for your tax as soon as you make the money any capital gains and just leave it sitting there. You know, don't assume in the stock market you'll be able to win it back or double it or just play it safe. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Oh, and also, now that the numbered pie has those invested in it, these can all be bumped up to three euro. So I obviously haven't done them all, but eventually I'll get it all filled out. And when they get to 10 euro each, it's, it seems to be about a euro invested in a company will produce a dividend of one cent. So 10 euro in theory will produce <coughs> sorry, 10 euro will produce 10 cents. Then you get the 10 cents up to 20 cents and up to 50 cents. And if you have, I think if you had 100 euro in, you'd get about a euro per dividend payment. But that's a hundred euro in hundreds of stocks. <laughs> It'll be a long time before I get there. That's it. So thank you very much for tuning back in. And I'll see you all again soon.